Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome back to Glidal Tech. Now today I have a, another old video for you guys. Um, this is the footage of me reviewing the Green Arrow Pro Cosplay review, specifically the Arrow Season One suit that they, um, you know, they produce and sell. I bought this a couple months ago, and I got the footage recorded, but I just totally did not have the time to post it or edit it. Is what I mean. Um, anyway, I've finally gotten around to editing it. And so I'm posting it now, but it did need a bit of an updated intro. We do things slightly differently now, so I wanted to uh, update the outro, or the intro and the outro, and then just to the newer style. Like, in the outro, I'm going to give the suit a rating. All right. And this is the Green Arrow suit. It's... If I had to use one word to describe it as a whole, um, I'm going to talk about it as a whole before I talk about it in separate pieces. Um, as a whole, I'd say it's pretty crappy. Um, yeah, it's... Now, to be fair, I did get the suit primarily for the, um, the jacket and the pants because I expected the other bits to be bad, but I didn't expect how bad it'd be. You look here, this is the glove. These are the gloves, and they're just... Okay, so first off, they don't... On the bottom, they aren't elastic at all. It's just, it's one size fits all. And so they are just outrageously big. They are uncomfortable. They're scratchy on the inside. You can feel the seams. You look at that. You can look how bad those look. If you kind of... If I take my hand out of the glove and I turn one of the fingers inside out so you can kind of see this... Do you see how thick those themes are? Those seams are? Like, reach out so much. And simply put, if I had made a glove like this, so if I was making this glove, first thing I would do is before, because what you do is you take the fabric you want and you um, flip it over and put the, uh, the good side together and you sew the fabric and then you can flip it inside out to have the good side on the outside. What I would have recommended is trimming off this excess because the sew line is right there. And so you have all this fabric here. If you had trimmed that off, you would have, it, first off, you would have had a better glove that way. Regardless. Uh, I understand that one size fits all. It's kind of hard to, you can't, you can't cater to everyone. You don't, they don't get the glove sizes. They literally said it's one size fits all. So it's understandable. Um, but these are not very good gloves. If you bought this suit to wear this suit, I'd recommend buying your own gloves um, to use instead of using these. Um, I don't like these at all. These are boot toppers. Um, they kind of just sit there. They go on your leg, and these are way too big to fit on my leg. I mean, my leg is probably half that. I mean, that would probably fit on my leg. Maybe a little smaller, but this is huge. So yeah, these don't really work at all. Um, the mask they gave me is terrible. If I put it on, but it's still, it's... It's small, it's not very comfortable. I can, just by looking out of it, I can see all the way around my eyes. It feels weird on my face. It would work for a basic mask, but for the Green Arrow costume, it doesn't really work. I, I don't think this is a good purchase so far. At least if you're doing it for the entirety of the suit, to have all the suit at once. The, uh, the leg holster here, um, let me move the camera down just a bit. The leg holster here is outrageously huge. Um, it's supposed to be for a couple arrows, but I think it's too big for that. The belt is insanely big. I have it tightened as much as I need to to hold around my waist, and I have this huge trailing bit here. Yeah, I could kind of either cut that or trim or uh, tuck it, but it's still huge. Um, huge for a little for a supposed belt piece to keep everything on. So yeah, um, the rest of the leg holster, it has this elastic piece at the bottom, um, right here, uh, to attach to your leg. These are not adjustable. These are literally, it's literally just a band of elastic. It is so big, when I wrap it around my leg, it is just, look at this. So when I wrap it here, you see how much room there is? I'm not even stretching it, this is just naturally just sitting there. If I just drop it down, look at that. It doesn't fit. So if you wanted to use this, you could, but you'd have to trim the elastic and re-sew it, reattach it. It's 
It's a lot of work just for a piece of elastic band there. Um, the quiver is the next bit we're gonna look at. Uh, once again, this is, it's odd that this is, it doesn't have a way to secure it, so like maybe a belt loop you can tuck it into, but that can, that can be rectified. You can make one of those or you can trim it off or whatever, um, or put some Velcro on there to hold it down. The, the straps, okay. This is a bit of elastic here, so not my favorite. This is, I think the strap is just weird. Um, the whole thing comes off pretty easily. And you have this little clip here. This is the weirdest part to me. This is this fancy clip that you can undo, but it doesn't disconnect the strap. The strap is permanently attached to the, the quiver. And it's, this is literally here for decoration. You could slip both of these edges off. Well, I mean, the, the elastic, I guess, stops it, but these are, this clip is literally for decoration. It does nothing. And I mean nothing. I don't even know why they have a clip. On the, uh, the screen use prop, on the screen use quiver, it doesn't even have a clip securing it. It's just a bit of Velcro. Uh, the strap goes over and folds over itself onto a little loop on the, uh, folds over and Velcros to itself um, through a little loop on the back of the quiver. The quiver is odd. It's, I, I don't really like it very much. It's, okay, so this, I don't even know what this thing is supposed to be. It's, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be kind of semicircular, as you can see it by the base there. It doesn't do a very good job of doing it. You'd, you'd have to, it's almost, it's, it feels like a foam with a fabric, maybe a fabric vinyl glued on top of it. It's very, very flimsy. Uh, it doesn't hold its shape. You'd have to stuff something inside there to keep it from collapsing on itself. I'd understand if they had a buckle on there to connect it to the quiver, but the fact that all the photos show this buckle made me think that it connects, the buckle is required to connect to the, the quiver itself. I'm like, okay, I can live with that. No, the quiver is literally sewn to the strap. And that's, that's disappointing. I don't like that at all. Um, this thing is... I suppose if you're looking for just a basic quiver um, and you're not too worried about screen accuracy, this would work, but I already had plans to build my quiver, so I'm just kind of, you know, I don't really care about this very much. So I'm just kind of setting that aside. Um, the last bit of the costume that I I don't like at all is the hood. I mean, you can see here it's, it's green. Well, it's really, really dark green. You can barely tell it's green. I mean, I'm you can barely tell there, even in the light here, like squint I can tell it's green but it's it's weird um it's okay it's got the uh on here this is they got the arrow pattern these are just elastic little bits of thread I mean not really elastic but still little bits of thread there on the back you can see it's got that the triangular shape and it's got the hood of course um but look at this I mean it barely covers my face the whole thing about Arrow Season 1 is he didn't have a mask, and so actually, this being a Season 1 costume with a mask is weird, completely inaccurate there. But being a costume where his whole thing was he put grease paint on his face and then pulled the hood down far enough to where you couldn't see his face, this hood does nothing to hide my face at all. <sighs> Once again, I already have a hood, and I it's a wonderful hood that I love, and I would never use any other hood for my Green Arrow costume, but it, it feels like they didn't even try with this one. So yeah. Um, side note, the patch on the side is way too large, but that's something that most hoods you can get never, never do right. And so we take that off. And yeah, so that's that. Now we come to the uh, last bit of the costume. This is the jacket, and then I've also got the pants on down here. It's a fairly nice jacket um, in the sense that it looks the part. It has all the accurate details. It's got the stretch panels on the side here, even though these aren't really, I mean, they're kind of stretchy, but not much. It's kind of like they put the stretch on the outside, but on the inside, the inside lining, it doesn't allow it to stretch, which is, counterintuitive, um, but whatever. Um, stretch panels are okay here. They go all the way down the arm, um, which is it, which is accurate on both sides here. They have the zippers on the side here, 
um, which are not necessary to get in and out of the jacket, but it's nice that they have that included in there so I can kind of, you know, unzip it, zip back up. It is hard to work the zippers. Um, I mean, it is a cheap zipper there, but it's, um, right now we're looking at accuracy. Um, on the back, it does have this arrow um, strip going all the way down to the bottom, and it does have the split here, um, which is also accurate as well. So all in all, oh, and it does have the pockets down here, which are the right spot. Um, all in all, it is a fairly fairly accurate jacket to the screen used one, and so I'm, I'm happy with that. A um, couple things I'm not happy about is, oh, um, I did forget about this one. This is the arm quiver. This is actually... Fairly okay, the elastic is still a bit loose, but it holds itself on there quite nicely. Um, this is probably the only bit of the costume that I would consider using. Um, only bit of the extras they included, I'd say, they can sit, that I would consider using. Um, I am a bit disappointed at the quality of the sewing on this though. Um, if you can see up there, the lines don't quite match up. It looks like this was done in a rush, and you've got, even got this bit of thread that's if you can see that there, that's kind of hanging. And so, I mean, they could have done a bit better. They could have cleaned it up a bit more nicely, but um, once again, compared to the other stuff, this is decent. Anyway, um, back to the jacket. I, I like it. It works pretty well. Um, I did use my, um, the other hood that I got, the one that I reviewed in a couple videos ago, which is vastly superior to this hood and any other hood that I've ever seen um, for this. To make it connect, I had to take, um, I had to make these pieces. These are two bits of, these are um, stick-on Velcro and that, a sticky back Velcro, I should say. And it's the rough side, the hook side of the Velcro. I basically took two strips that were the same size and I stuck them together and I did that um, twice, one for each side here. And so if I connect this, onto this piece here and do the same thing here. Now we have hook Velcro that I can use to attach over here. And so like I said, this hood is a lot better. I, I feel like this is a bit more accurate. The hood is way more comfortable. Whereas this is soft hood, this is more stiff. Um, it, it feels like I could, it feels waxy and it feels stiff. Like I said, it, if I put this on, um, if it did cover the majority of my head, I, I wouldn't get a drop of my hair on my head wet. Um, so, I mean, there is that going for it. But, I mean, for a costume like this, I'd rather have comfortable than waxy and stiff. So, even if this did repel a bunch of water, I'd, I wouldn't want to wear it. Looking at the suit, it's okay. Um, the only downside I'd say to this suit is the quality of the... Uh, of the material used to make it it well I mean a couple downside the first downside is that it's it, it's not a real leather it feels more like it's it's a costume leather it feels more like a pleather um, it's the type of leather that when you if you've ever felt it you know what I'm talking about um, you feel it and it feels like I don't know if you scratch it just slightly by accident it'll um, put a tear in it and then the entire thing will peel off it feels like give it enough time, it'll it'll start to peel off itself. Um, and by enough time, I don't mean like two three years. I mean like two three weeks. If you if you use it a decent amount, if you wear this to maybe like a couple cons, it'll start peeling pretty quickly, is what I'm guessing. Um, so that's what that feels like. So I'm disappointed in the quality of the leather, uh, eh, quality of the leather or whatever they're. Um, Whatever this material is, I'm disappointed in how cheap it feels. Um, this is a $200 costume. If it was $200 for the jacket alone, um, I'd be a lot more upset and I would be talking to this company trying to get a refund. Um, but I, I can't do anything at this point because of that. Um, anyway, um, so there's that. Um, it is a bit tight in the arms. It feels... Um, I mean, it's okay, I can still bend my arms and whatnot, but when my arms are straight out and I'm just sitting there, it feels like it's gripping my side, the sides of my arms a bit too much. Um, which, I mean, it doesn't look that way. You can see it even kind of wrinkles, but I can feel the pressure from the sleeves. And so, I mean, even bending it 
I get a slight pinching in my arm here, which it does stink, but I mean, once again, you get what you pay for. Um, I did do the measurements a bit too small, and so when I reach my arm up, it contracts up here, and, you, and the sleeve moved back is what I'm trying to say. And so, I mean, it's okay, but um, that's due to my own stupid stupidity. Um, it's a bit tight around the neck here. Um, that might be because I'm not used to having it up here like this, but it still feels like maybe the neck is a bit too small. Um, that's basically what the jacket is. Um, okay, so here are the pants of the costume. Um, very much um, the same as the, uh, the jacket itself. It's got all the correct details. It's got this. Um, this is a big thing I was looking for when I was looking for my costume, is if I can adjust that, the focus there. There we go. You can see the, uh, it has this little patterned pieces here, which is, is accurate to the show. They have that on the leg se section, about where the knees are. And so that being on there was very important to me um, to get accurate. Uh, it's got the zippers on the sides here for the pockets, which, but they're not pockets. It's just a zipper there and there's nothing. It's, that's disappointing. Um, and it's only on the one side. And so the fact that they have the zipper there, but you can't put anything in there is, I, I wish they included a pocket there. I'm fairly sure there is one up there on the show. So, I mean, that is disappointing, but once again, you get what you pay for them. Yeah, the belt loops, which I couldn't really show you when I was wearing it, they look like they've been stretched out a lot. Um, I wouldn't use an actual belt in there because I, uh, the pants stand just well, uh, well enough, but the belt loops feel like they're too big. And so it's got the stretch panels on the sides of the legs here and on the insides of the legs, which once again, like I said, the stretch paneling was um, the big thing that I was looking for. So there's that. The inside has got this, this felt type sub, um, substance. Um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure it's actually felt, but I don't know what to call it in felt. So what came to mind when I look at it, when I feel it, you get that feel of felt. Um, it's, it's fairly comfortable, but it's, uh, I, I think there's other stuff that you could put in there that'd be better. The little connector piece here, it's this little uh, hook and latch bit here. Um, you just slide it together like so. Um, that feels really weak. It's very flimsy. If you look on the inside bit here, you can see there's a bit of rippage there starting to tear very slightly. I don't know if it don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but it looks like the the metal clasp piece here is um, would come out fairly easily. And so that's I don't trust that very well. The zipper is once again a cheap little zipper which has gotten stuck multiple times. Uh, when I zip it up, it zips up fairly well, but sometimes it leaves a little bit of a gap that I got to zip, uh, unzip it and pull it back up. Let's see if it does it this time. It doesn't do it this time, but it fixes it normally if you go over it and zip it back up again, but the fact that you have to do that still indicates a really cheap zipper. The only other downside, um, like I talked about, the, uh, the material is crap. I noticed there was a rip, and you can see this bit of wrinkled piece here and that little ripped spot there. This entire section from, if you're looking at this from about here all the way down to here was ripped and it was just like pulled upwards. I took some glue and I glued it down and pushed it back on there. And so it's kind of secure now, but it was ripped up there. And the fact that it was ripped there, um, I, yeah. So that just shows you how easily this thing ripped. I'm, I'm guessing they wouldn't leave it, uh, set, ship it out to me ripped like that. At least I hope not. So that kind of sucked. When I did glue it together, the glue did kind of bleed through to the other side there. Um, so, I mean, I wasn't wearing it when I glued it, thankfully. But if I had been, I might have accidentally glued these pants to my underpants, which would have been fun. Those are the pants. Um, Cosplay-wise, um, I don't trust these pants. That's another thing I forgot to mention. The legs are really tight when I... I um, slide my legs into it. It's just, it literally hugs my legs. I can't really do much. I can rotate it around, but I can't pull the legs up if I need to adjust my socks or something like that. Um, I can't really do much. And it's kind of weird putting my foot in because it's so tight there. Um, but with how tight these pants are, and that's all the way up the legs and um, all the way throughout the pants, really. With how tight these pants are, with how weird the material is, 
and with the one rip I've already had, I wouldn't trust these pants out in public. This is something that my plan had been to finish my Green Arrow costume and wear it to Pensacon. I don't trust these pants at all. I'm, I'm not gonna wear these to, um, to Pensacon because that would be an all day affair and I don't think that I could go all day at Pensacon, whether hot or cold, whatever it is outside, all the moving around, I don't think I could do that without ripping the pants in some form or fashion. And if I ripped the pants, I would either have to hope, I would either, it would either have to be where I could wear them for the rest of the day, or I'd have to go back to my car and I'd have to get a spare pair of pants and I'd have to change, in which case, since I couldn't wear the pants, I wouldn't be in the costume anymore and it's not a Green Arrow costume. I'm not gonna wear them out, which means I can't do Green Arrow at Pensacon, um, which which really sucks. Um, I was looking forward to that, but I, I don't trust these pants. So I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that there. I would trust the jacket to hold up. Um, it's actually not a bad jacket. Like I said, the only downside is really the fabric and the fact that it's a bit too short. Um, I think that's my own fault. I think that the reason it's so tight around the, the chest and the neck area and so short around the arms is because I gave them um, measurements that were slightly too small. The issue is the leather itself or the, the, uh, the um, pleather or the uh, costume leather, whatever you want to call it, that is really, really flimsy. And with how easily it ripped on the pants, I, it would rip just as easily on the jacket. So it is disappointing. Um, the costume is really good um, in the sense of accuracy. Um, the jacket and the pants are some of the most accurate um, versions of this costume you can buy online, uh, at least for that price range. Um, spending just over $200, that's to get it custom sized. It's a decent looking costume. Um, like I said, I'm, gonna th I'm not counting the accessories. Those are just, no. Um, the only bits of this costume that I thought I'd be able to use were the jacket and the pants. But yeah, so if you want to, if you want a costume that looks good and maybe that you're going to use for some photos, then sure. But if you want a costume that you can wear to a couple cons and you can, you know, run around in, this is not the costume I recommend. So yeah, this costume here, uh, I'll provide the link down in the description, but if you, I mean, the link is there if you want to check it out, but... In my opinion, I'd say the link is there because I, I do not recommend this costume at all. It has some goods about it, but I think the I think the cons outweigh the pros in this instance. You're spending two hundred dollars to get only the jacket and the pants that are there. It's they're gonna be a bit tight. Um, the leathers or the pleather is going to be really really flimsy, and it's something that looks kind of cheap and it will probably fall apart if you if you use it. So it is disappointing. Um, it feels like it's just $200 down the drain there. Um, I may attempt to sell the costume on eBay or something like that. I'm not expecting to get much for it though because it's, like I said, it's, I'm gonna advertise, I'm gonna have this video on my YouTube channel. Um, it's a cheap costume. It's, you're not gonna be able to get a costume that looks accurate and that is sturdy and it's going to uphold really well you're not gonna be able to get a costume like that for very cheap um, so if I want a green arrow costume which I still do I'm still on the road to get a green arrow costume I'm not giving up um, because of this but I, I'm at the point where I realize yeah if I want a good costume if I want a costume that'll be that'll work for me I'll have to save up my money to get a custom made piece, uh, an actual leather version of the costume. So uh, yeah, that's that sucks, but it's the way things go sometimes. Um, so what you gonna do? I have a, uh, yeah. All right, there you go. That is my review of the Arrow Season 1 costume from ProCosplay.com. As you can tell, I was really disappointed with the entire thing. I, I wouldn't recommend you getting it. Um, to me, I'd probably, on a scale of, on our rating scale, negative 10 to 10, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, I want to give it a 1 or a 2. Um, 
I think I'll give it a 2 because it did have the accurate details on there and it did look okay in the photos and so if you were getting it purely for photos not to wear as a cosplay then I guess it would work but yeah it doesn't really work for an actual costume or anything because it'll tear apart pretty easily. So that is my rating for the Pro Cosplay Arrow Season 1 costume. I gave it a 2 out of 10, um, which is technically a 1 out of 5 stars, which in actuality, if you go check out the link to the suit in the description, um, hopefully my review that I left on the suit will be up there. I don't know if they'll take it down or anything, but I will be leaving a 1 star review there talking about why I dislike the suit. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content from us, um, we have a couple selections over here. Up here, this is a playlist with all the DIY slash cosplay videos that I have posted since starting Glidal Tech. And then down here, we have Zach's most recent theory video, which is him talking about why we think the Mandalorian, uh, Din Djarin, will be seen in the Clone Wars Season 7 in the last four episodes um, entitled the um, Siege of Mandalore arc. So if you're interested in either of those things, click on the links there. Um, but otherwise, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more content from us, go ahead and subscribe. We'd be much appreciated. But yeah, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next one.